a common Balkan recipe that you can enjoy for breakfast or brunch with your favorite tea. Hey guys, it's Marlene here with Savory Thoughts at SavoryThoughts.com and welcome back to another one of our videos. So in today's video, this one is a spinach pie that you can enjoy for mainly for breakfast, but it's suitable as well for brunch and even dinner, depending on what you are serving it with. So this recipe does freeze well. I definitely recommend that you double the recipe because you sure will enjoy it as the week continues. So to get started, we're adding in diced onions. And all you need is about a third cup of diced onions. Crack four large eggs. And now your eggs do not need to be at room temperature as we will be scrambling the eggs later on. When making the spinach pie, if you do not want to add eggs, that's perfectly fine. You can omit the eggs and just keep it vegan. Go ahead and whisk your eggs thoroughly. And once you're done whisking your eggs, go ahead and set it aside. Next, in a small cup, add in your milk. And for this, we're using about a fourth cup of milk. Crack one egg. And add in one tablespoon of canola oil. Or you may use olive oil. Use a fork to whisk it well. And once you're done whisking it, go ahead and set it aside. We're going to use that mixture to baste the sheets when we are ready to bake. So in the large skillet, go ahead and add your oil and start to cook the onions on medium-low heat for about 30 to 45 seconds. Once you're done, go ahead and add in two pounds of fresh baby spinach. Chopping your spinach ahead of time is definitely optional. It does not make a difference in this recipe. But if you choose to do so, that's perfectly fine. It will actually make it a little bit easier for you to toss as a cook. Now, as you cook your spinach, you will notice that it will start to wilt, but it also will have liquid. You want to go ahead and strain your spinach along with the onions. I definitely recommend using a mesh strainer. It makes it a lot easier for all the components to stay intact and just extract the juice from it. Once you're done, set that aside and in the same skillet, add about one tablespoon of oil and add in the eggs once the oil has heated up. You want to cook your eggs on low heat because you do not want it to burn. And once the egg starts to form and starts to come together, then go ahead and add in your spinach. At this point, you definitely want to move quickly because you do not want your eggs to stick to the bottom of the pan. Season it lightly with salt and pepper to taste. And once the ingredients are just combined, go ahead and remove the skillet and continue working. Add a one cup of feta cheese and it's best to do it um, half a cup at a time it makes it a lot easier for you to mix the cheese in with the egg mixture adding the cheese is completely optional it is not necessary so the cheese just add in a little bit more flavor so once you're done mixing that well go ahead and set it aside and in a nine inch pie dish go ahead add in one teaspoon of oil use a pastry brush to spread the oil Next, add in two filler sheets at a time. They will overlap and that's perfectly fine because you don't want any gaps in between so that way the filling does not come out. 
Now the egg mixture that you previously made and set aside, go ahead and use that. Use your pastry brush to brush it and you're going to repeat the process. To minimize the risk of having gaps in between, I definitely recommend that you, when you add your filo sheets, you alternate the, um, the directions that they are placed. So for example, if one is placed horizontal, then do the other one vertically. So that way, all the gaps are covered. Continue to baste it with the egg mixture. And once you're done, go ahead and start spooning in the spinach mixture. Add a couple spoons at a time. And use your pastry brush to brush the top with the milk and egg mixture. Continue to apply the base. Again, this is just to make sure the filo sheets are nicely intact and they do not come apart as you bake your pie. And continue to repeat the process with the spinach mixture until you have used all of the mixtures. Guys, if you want the full recipe for this spinach pie, it is on our website, it's saverythoughts.com. We're also showing step-by-step -step procedure on how to make this with ease. Now, once you get to the very top layer and you have used all of your um, spinach mixture, now you want to take the sheets, about um, two to three sheets, and crumble them up and tear them apart. Once you're done, go ahead and take the hanging filo sheets and gently fold them on top of the crumbled filo sheets. This will serve as the top layer of your pie. And as you fold it, go ahead and gently baste it with the egg mixture. And once you're done using a sharp knife, go ahead and slice your pie into nine sections. Use your pastry brush again to apply a little bit more of the egg mixture to the sections that you previously missed. And once you are done, go ahead and bake it at 350 degrees for about 40 to 45 minutes. Guys, this recipe is very easy and it's also healthy. You can freeze this in the freezer for up to six months. And to reheat it, all you have to do is just let it thaw out in the refrigerator um, and heat it for about 10 minutes at 180 degrees. Um, you can definitely enjoy this with your favorite protein or you can have it with your favorite fruits. Either way, it's very versatile and it's easy to make. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching this video. We would love for you to subscribe if you haven't already done so. Um, please leave us a comment or any questions that you may have in the comment box below and we will see you on the next video. Cheers.